I'm Chris Beisner, Vice President of Sales Engineering for ETI. I'm happy to have this opportunity today to quickly demonstrate ETI's service management platform. Join me now as we walk through the product. We start by looking at the account screen in SMP. Note the tabs, location, devices, phone, products, OTC, and statements. Each of these are customizations added by ETI and represent an important aspect of the telecommunications customer. The location tab shows the service location or address where the customer receives their services. The devices tab shows the customer premise equipment installed at the service location. These devices are very often in the critical path for service delivery. Examples of devices you might see on the screen include video set-top boxes, cable modems, fiber optic terminals, residential gateways, and mesh Wi-Fi units. This screen shows device records for a fiber optic terminal. The phone tab shows telephone numbers assigned to the customer as part of any subscribed voice services. The product tab shows the product subscriptions the customer has currently, as well as any that may be in the process of being added or removed. ETI has spent a significant amount of time enhancing the product catalog capabilities in support of telecommunication services. Features of the enhanced product catalog include the ability to easily add multiple products at the same time, support for product bundling with price breakdown by the component products, and support for promotional products. As you can see from the video, the user interface for managing product assignments is intuitive and efficient. Another key feature of this tab is the historical view of product descriptions for the customer. The OTC tab is for managing one-time charges, and the Statements tab is used for viewing past invoices. As these tabs should illustrate, ETI's primary objective is to provide SMP users with a 360-degree view of their telecom customer. To that end, ETI will continue to leverage the native functionality of Dynamics, as well as add more customizations with each new iteration of the SMP product. Now that we've seen what an account looks like within SMP, Let's walk through the process of onboarding a new customer and through that process, create a new account. This is the same process that would be used by a CSR or an inside sales rep working for the service provider when contacted by an outside party interested in signing up for service. The process starts by checking the service address of the interested party to see if it is within the service provider's network. After verifying the address is serviceable and gathering some basic contact information from the caller, the next step is to qualify the lead. Doing this advances the business process flow to the first step of the sales order process, the assignment of the service location. After assigning the service location, one or more products are usually assigned, but we will skip ahead to the outside plant field service tab. On the field service tab, the user toggles the dip switches on the left that align with the state of the physical circuit, drop, or any CPE or devices installed at the service location. Once set, the sales order is converted into a work order, which will include the default list of tasks, products, and skills required to complete the job. Assuming the sales order is approved, the business process flow is then advanced to fulfillment, where it will likely remain until the scheduled date of the work order. Here we see the account for the new customer and the open work order that was created during the sales order process. As you have just seen, onboarding a new customer through SMP is not complicated and can be done very quickly. In addition to the native in-app support for onboarding new customers, ETI also offers a web portal extension to SMP that enables prospective customers to check the serviceability of their address and sign up for service online all without talking to a service provider representative. The process is very similar to the one we just saw, beginning with the check of the service address. Assuming the address is serviceable, the prospect is then presented with one or more tiles, each representing one of the available classes of service. This selection limits the number of products presented to the user on the next page of the flow. After selecting the desired products, the user indicates their preferred installation window date range and time block. Following that, they are presented with a summary of the order detail, 
which they must confirm in order to advance. The default flow includes paying up front for the services selected. However, ETI can amend the flow if desired by the service provider to eliminate or delay this step. After filling in the payment details and executing the payment, The user is presented with a payment confirmation and summary screen. This concludes the onboarding process via the web portal. Now that an account is set up in SMP for the new customer, which was done automatically during the sign-up process, the customer now has access to their SMP account details via the portal for the lifespan of their account. From the self-care portal, customers can see their account summary, see the current and past invoices, make payments, see the details of their service address, including the option to initiate a move request, see the products assigned to their account, including any pending changes, allow the user to open a service request or view the status of an existing case or ticket. In addition to these features, the self-care portal also supports the promotion of current upsell offers and, optionally, allowing the customer to change their assigned products. This concludes a tour of Dynamics 365 for digital service providers, ETI's service management platform for telecommunications companies. As mentioned previously, SMP is built on Microsoft Dynamics Field Service. As we like to say here at ETI, we are building on the shoulders of giants. The advantage to us and to our customers is the incredible amount of functionality available both now and in the future that ETI doesn't have to invent or code. Our good friends at Microsoft are taking care of that for us. In subsequent releases of SMP, ETI will be taking advantage of the many game-changing features of Dynamics, like artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and robotic process automation, which have the potential to have a material impact on customer support, business operations, and operational expenses. Another giant shoulder that ETI stands upon proudly is TM Forum, a telecommunications standards body that has spent years defining the architecture and functional blocks of business and operational support systems. TM Forum has been widely adopted the world over by many of the largest and most well-respected service providers, software product companies, and technology vendors. ETI's SMP strictly adheres to the TM Forum data model and open APIs. The advantage in doing so is both plug-and-play interoperability with other TM Forum compliant applications and products as well as providing peace of mind to prospective buyers. As you can probably guess, we here at ETI are very excited about SMP, our relationship with Microsoft, TM Forum, and the impact this combination will have in the telecommunications industry. Given what we've already accomplished, the potential seems unlimited. Thank you for watching.